you started a traffic objective campaign. CTR was 14 on the first hour, you know, 10 by the end of the day, 8 by the second day, 6 on the third day. Here's the thing. When you run ads on Facebook, we always say we don't measure by day. I mean, and some of you are actually measuring by hour, you see. So this is really something. It's not like gambling, you see. First, Facebook ads campaign requires time to learn. And usually, it will stabilize because as you are in the first hour, you have only reached very limited people. And even by the end of the day, you probably reach a certain number of people. It may not have actually completed the learning required to stabilize the campaign. So that's why there is this thing called the learning phase. Le learning phase. Okay, so yeah. So a campaign takes time to learn. You don't make decision based on, even we don't make decision without usually, uh, for those who know my method of uh, analyzing and um, you know dissecting campaign, we don't make decision based on you know one day data, definitely not. And uh, not even a three day data, if it's not very, very badly hit, we, we would definitely try to use a seven day data to dissect the performance of the campaign. Okay, there is always reason behind that because within a week there are different days and there are different you know ups and downs when it comes to the you know days of the week that's why a campaign we have to go through is one week learning course to stabilize i would say we will always make decision based on weekly data all right so first thing like the other day i was just having a client you know asking me my client asked me about hey jason i do not I, today i have no lead so i go in and change things and all that so this is really something that we want to avoid doing why because as the campaign is learning and doing all these adjustments on its own and all that, right? And you keep interrupting, the whole campaign won't be able to finish learning and it will always be in a very volatile stage that it cannot actually give you the result that you want. That's why give it some time. So let it learn. I would say even 6% CTR is very good, but my friends, CTR is not the metric that we track. Yeah, we have a lot of metric that we track because ultimately you may have good CTR, but if your ad is actually like something misleading that you capture the wrong audience, you will have very, very bad, you know, result as well. So there is a whole journey that we will always look into when we are dissecting a campaign. It's not just CTR, it's not just CPM, it's not just cost per result, but we want to try to look at it in a more holistic way. So yeah, that's my advice to you. But if you need help, okay, remember Kevin, I'm not sure whether you know about this thing. I have a one-on-one -on -one Facebook ads audit. Okay, I usually charge 197 for this. Okay, for really Facebook ads audit, you have to come in with a campaign with at least seven days data. I will, we will go in together via Zoom and look at your campaign to see what have you done right or wrong. And I'll give you recommendations about what you should do next. So this is a very useful session to kind of like really dissect a campaign because remember, we don't want to make decision based on gut feeling and we don't want to make decision based on single metric. And of course, we want to make decision based on enough data. So you need a, you know, enough learning, which usually we of we prefer seven day learning. So if you need help dissecting a campaign, scan this QR code, buy me a coffee, and uh, we will do this together over Zoom.